Hi everyone, Kyle here from RGB Sequences with today's video part two of importing and mapping over a sequence. In this video we're going to show you some detailed steps to bring over the singing face. This will work for any singing face on a matrix or megatree, but there are some critical steps that you need to follow in order to bring over a singing face. So if you followed along with part one of the videos, then your Blinding Lights Weekend sequence will have a video file and an off effect. If you want to use the native effects as opposed to the video and off effect, that's fine. So you could just delete those. And when you go to click on the singing face, you'll notice it's going to show up red on your tree or your matrix, whatever you want the singing face on. And what that means is it cannot find your face definition. So in our case, it doesn't show that we have able. So what we're going to do is go over to layout and you want to find your either mega tree or your matrix. Come over to the left side where it shows faces, click to edit, click on the three dots and you can click on add. We'll add a new face. And then we have to make sure that it is set to matrix. You don't want it to be on single nodes or node ranges. We want matrix. And then you will see what the different mouth pictures are supposed to look like. What you can do from here is double click on any one of these here. So we'll use E as the example. And when you unzipped the packaged sequence from RGB during the import process, it will have brought over a folder called downloaded faces. You can click on this drop down and you can see all of the images that were used to create the singing face. In our case here, it is asking us to choose a image file for mouth E with eyes open. This particular sequence only uses eyes open. There is no eyes closed because he's wearing sunglasses. So we can just pick on E for eyes open and the E definition here. It is going to pre-populate everything else. And from here, we can click OK and save and we'll be ready to go. If you are using a different sequence where there are eyes open and eyes closed images, you would basically just do the same process where you click over and you would select where it shows eyes open or eyes closed and then it would pre-populate. You'll click OK. You'll click Save. And now when you go back over to your sequence, you can click on the singing face and you can select your able singing face and it will pop up. You can see that it's singing and it's ready to go. So that's all there is to it. It's a pretty easy process, but you, it is one step that doesn't happen automatically. You do have to actually go into the layout and bring that over. So if you have any questions, if something doesn't work right, feel free to reach out to us. Our email is info at rgb-sequences.com. You can also reach us on Facebook, but thanks everyone for the support and we will see you soon.